it is nasty out there, and we're seeing it downtown, and we're hearing from you. Uh, but I, I want to know how bad it is out there and be our eyes uh, throughout the region at 514-790-0991 or Star Talk on the cell. You can text 514-800 as far as the freezing rain is concerned. Lots of accidents this afternoon. It's crazy. Apparently, despite all of the warnings, they haven't had a, a chance to get enough salt down, clearly. And it's nasty. So if you're uh, how bad is it? Let us know as we continue here this afternoon. And, uh, and well, speaking guests. of being out on the roads, Colleen Lannan is joining us right now. She's the editor and founder of TravelMamas.com, and she's here to make our road trips over this holiday season a little bit more sane. Good afternoon, Colleen. Hi, thanks Hi. for having me. That's wonderful to have you. So start saving my sanity. You've got uh, <laughs> you've got eight uh, sanity saving tips for us. What do you got? Well, first of all, I, you know I don't know how I can help you out with those those slippery roads there in Quebec. Yeah, no kidding. Sound, sound like a lot of fun. But um, if you're driving with kids, one thing that you can do if the kids start acting really kind of crazy, things aren't aren't going so well for you as you as, as you would hope. Change things up. Don't just keep doing the same thing over and over again, hoping for different results. Instead, you can stop somewhere, maybe adjust the seating arrangements, maybe separate the kids or have uh, one of the parents who is sitting in the back now go drive and have the other parent drive or something. And then, you know, uh, change the music. Maybe you're playing some really upbeat, fun music and instead play some, some mellow lullabies or some mellow music to sort of calm the kids down a little bit. So take a little time out instead of saying, don't make me come back there. Yes, exactly, exactly. And in fact, one of the things I do think that you should do is go back there. I think that if you're if you're driving with more than one adult, I think it's a really great idea to have one of the one of the adults sit in the back seat with the kids and help them with some projects, doing some arts and crafts or playing some travel games and sort of uh, keeping things fun for the kids. What about getting car sick? Yes, you know, one thing that I learned the hard way was you have to bring a bucket with you. Um, <laughs> the good thing. Yeah, I know. The worst thing that you could hear as a parent is, I think I'm going to be sick mm. in the back seat. And so you really want to have a bucket with you. Don't have it in the way back, you know, underneath all the suitcases. You have to have it within your within your reach. And, you know, you could bring up maybe a plastic bag or something for older kids, but for little kids, you really need to have, have a bucket. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> yes. Here, I've, one of the trips I was on not so long ago, all we got out of the munchkin was, je show, I'm hot. Oh. And that, that was it. That's all the warning you get. It's kind oh, of the yeah. difference between a dog and a cat. A cat will give you at least uh, five or six gulps before oh, a dog. It's usually just a ah, and that's it. And we got Jay Show. Sorry, I was a little graphic there, wasn't I? <laughs> yes. Pale. Thank a bucket you, Ricky or pale P. on the list. Sorry. Bucket uh, or pale. Getting into the back seat every now and then. Yes. Changing things up. Take a little time out. Uh, what about food on the road? Good or bad? Oh, a great idea. You know, I, I know some people don't like to have any food in their cars at all, but maybe you could break that rule for a long road trip. So I like to bring lots and lots of snacks and bring them in different containers and don't just give them all to the kids all at once. You want to sort of start them out with maybe some whole grain crackers and then give them some fresh sliced fruits and lots of different healthy snacks. And it really will buy a lot of time. And, you know, a busy mouth is, is too busy to say, you know, are we there yet, Mom and Dad? And just got to keep them happy. Are we there yet? I had a friend of mine that actually, she put a fridge in her van just so that the kids could go and serve themselves. Well, they had to drive from Montreal to Atlanta. That was a long trip. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that is that is a long trip. Yeah, very long <laughs> trip. Well, what else? What about games? Um, are, are the kids interested in playing games with you or do they need to be um, self-entertained? What's the best way to do that? Well, I like uh, travel versions of, of board games. A lot of uh, board games come with travel versions. And you can also get those old-school travel bingo cards so they can be looking out the windows and trying to find things that are on the travel bingo cards. And then some things, you know, don't require a purchase at all. You can just do hangman and tic-tac-toe or play 20 questions with the kids, and those don't cost you any money at all. And geography. That's yeah, a, yeah, definitely. You say that uh, the, uh, the name of a place and the last letter has to be the first letter of the next geographical place. I'm out. Oh, I you know, I haven't even heard of that one before. That's a great oh, no. one. Oh, we did that for 12 hours once. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Kept, yeah. 12, you can 12 hours? <laughs> we were stretching it. Get me a bucket. <laughs> what, <laughs> what about video games and movies and things like that? What do you think? Yeah, you know, um, again, I think that travel is the time to, to break rules. So even if you're a family that says, you know, I don't believe in television at home, I don't believe in video games at home, 
I think that maybe you should bend the rules for when you're on the road and allow some time uh, playing those video games or get a travel DVD player uh, for the kids to watch the movies. And I like to start out with doing the other things, you know, start out with the snacks and the old school games and then sort of save those uh, electronic diversions for later in the trip when, when the kids are really starting to get really antsy and maybe mom and dad are getting tired of, of playing hmm. 20 questions or geography for 12 hours. I gotcha. Colleen Lannan has been our guest. She's the editor and founder of TravelMamas.com. I'm sure you can find these tips all on your website. Can you not, Colleen? Yes, I have I have lots <laughs> of these tips and lots of other tips on, on Travel Mamas. Okay, Colleen Lannan, thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me. All right.